President Donald Trump is perhaps the most polarizing president in modern history. 90% of Republicans approve of the job he is doing, but just 8% of Democrats and 38% of Independents do. At the same time, Trump has relentlessly and publicly savaged his opponents, even when they're Republicans. He helped push Arizona Senator Jeff Flake into early retirement. Mr. President, I rise today to say enough. We must dedicate ourselves to making sure that the anomalous never becomes the normal. And other Republicans on Capitol Hill have taken notice. So, Republicans are torn between showing loyalty to an erratic president and tending to traditional re-election efforts, support, or even their silence during Trump's more controversial outbursts may not help their chances with voters this fall. Arizona seems more under the microscope than most states. Immigration and border security issues have outsized importance here. And Trump's many clashes with Senator John McCain and Jeff Flake, as well as his pardon of former Sheriff Joe Arpaio, have kept the spotlight and the pressure that goes with it on Arizona and its voters. Since entering politics in 2015, Trump has seemingly managed to defy the rules of political gravity, but it's unclear that he can continue to do so forever, and history suggests that whatever voters make of him, his party is set to take a beating at the polls this November. Could Trump's presidency be what turns Arizona from red to purple?